everybody. We are uh, coming over here to a little park here in Lake Jackson. They uh, got a call for a Infiniti G35 and uh, the customer left it abandoned here but they uh, left it nose in with the front wheels turn so we're gonna have to kind of work this thing up onto the bed that was here a few minutes ago I couldn't get a hold of the customer so went down the road to wait for him he's not he's not gonna be here to uh, bring the keys he's gonna be at the drop-off location with the keys so we're gonna have to work this thing up the bed turned but there's no one here the doors are locked we checked it out took all my pictures earlier fifth time that I've had to tow this car. It's one of the regulars we have to tow for. Front end kicks over. 
tires are kicking over there which is causing it to walk sideways block the rear tires so they kind of slide over a little bit here if I could get access to the inside of it do basically the same thing by setting the e-brake since this is rear wheel drive see how it slides over instead of the wheels turning the idea is to get the car pretty much centered in the bed. As you can see now, the car is now wanting to walk out from underneath the bed. So, and I've, I know I've done this in one prior video. Barely float the bed. See the support bar is off the ground, and the bed is off the ground. And then you get in the truck. And you'll turn it hard in the opposite direction that it's trying to go. You just drive forward. Anticipate that it's going to keep going that way. Overshoot it just a little bit. So now we got fairly centered. I should have gone a little bit more, honestly. That's a useful trick. I do it a lot, especially for like loading dualies. Where you got, you know, a big wide truck. You gotta get it fairly centered, especially if, you know, in that particular case, it's generally fairly important because of the weight of the truck. You don't wanna have heavy, you know, one ton truck loaded on just one side or the other. You want to have it fairly balanced. So now I'm blocking the front tires. It's basically do the same thing that I had with the rear. Make the front end come over straight. See the front tires are coming up straight now. So I'm not dragging this bumper or anything. I know I've done that in several videos where I've used my wood blocks on the front tires to stop from going one way or the other. That's a really easy little trick you can do to make something work for you. A bunch of comments like Dustin why didn't you use go jacks that would have just rolled right out the bed I don't know if you can see this I know it's dark I'm trying to come over here to the light side the, the edge of this bed is flat it's not it doesn't have an edge to it like most flat beds do 
these rollers, because of the right approach bed, this doesn't sit down on the ground. The wheels of them rollers, kind of like skates or anything else, catch the end of that. And it doesn't want to roll straight up. So, that's why go jacks wouldn't really work for this particular truck. On top of that, we don't even have go jacks on the flatbeds. I do plan on trying to get some go jacks to put on a different truck. We'll be driving soon, hopefully. But that's later on down the road. hook on this thing and roll out these winches are not load bearing winches god forbid we somebody pull out in front of us and we tagged our brakes real hard we've got slack in it somewhere that winch would bleed off pressure and then you know this particular instance, you know, you go and only have one J-hook on it, and now you got slack in it. Say you had a car that, say it was a standard or the transmission was hurt and you didn't know it, and you got a car that's just rolling around on your bed. That's a good way to lose your off your bed. Now, I'm not trying to do all that. perfectly centered or perfectly straight but it's loaded and it's on the bed gonna get this thing hauled over to the customer he's waiting for it with the keys at the house we're gonna go ahead and head that way Appreciate y'all watching. If y'all would, please subscribe, like, and share. See y'all in the next one.